Hostile Territory. 19 Nocturne Boulevard. Nocturne Boulevard? Not far. When you hit Howard, hang a right. Howard meets Philip at a weird kind of angle. Then you cross James and Paul. You can't miss Nocturne. It's just past the Ottoman. 19 Nocturne Boulevard. Your address for suspenseful stories of the speculative, strange, and supernatural. Tonight's story is The Dead Eye Kid, Hostile Territory. Yes, this is 19 Nocturne Boulevard. Won't you step inside? Did you have any trouble finding it? What do you mean, what kind of a place is it? Why, it's just outside the only building for miles around in a blizzard. Can't you tell? Not much further. You've been saying that for the last hour. And you've kept walking. If you look up, you can see the light from the window. And get a snoot full of frozen sweet? No, thank you very much. Is there a barn? Yes. It is a bit closer. Why? These here horses will drop before I do. Need to get them inside. I'll go and see if it's unlocked then, shall I? He ain't doing too well, but I... I think he'll pull through. You think? My husband was the one with some doctrine. I am doing what I can. You best keep on. Them children of yours depend on you. I know. It ain't much, but these ways it's about freezing in here. I've taken the liberty of looking around them, you It is a hostel, so you're very lucky on that count. I haven't been inside, but a peek through the window shows they're sitting down to dinner even as we speak. Dinner? Maybe even coffee? Perhaps, but... How could anyone leave a good dog out on a night like this? You're certain it's not a wolf or a coyote? You mean a coyote? You could try to speak normal from time to time, you know. Nah, neither of them barks like that. That's a hound, sure enough. Your guns? What about them? The hostel sign shows they're Quakers. They do not allow guns in the house. Idiots. Fine, I'll catch him here some. Oh, I say. That explains a lot. You take care of him. I've got to get inside and get around some grub. Right ho. Here, boy. There's a good dog. I haven't spoken grace yet. Grace yourself, woman. We are hungry. For what we are about to receive, let the Lord make us thankful. Amen. 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 Shut up! Tell him to go away. We are a stage stop. We have to take folks. Not tonight. Go on. But if I send them away, they might could make it to Corville in the valley and tell folks that... We can't have no... Even on a night like this, the sheriff would... Let him in. We can deal with them if we must. Sorry about the wait, stranger. Things are a mite rough here right now. Uh, never mind, dear. Ah. <gasps> Show the gentleman on in. What he said. You'll keep shut if you know what's good for shh, you. Shh, shh, pious honey. Children, <laughs> uh, you got to take a, a firm hand with them. I'm proprietor here, and this here's me wife. Right, dear? Yes. What? And this here's her brother, Randall. He, he helps uh, helps around the place. I hope you don't mind. I already bunked my horses in the stables. We don't see many travelers in weather such as this. Reckon not. Well, I'm right lucky you're here, and ma'am, I am hurt near fainting with rapture at the smell of your cooking. Can you make some room at uh, that table with all them young'uns? Always room, always food. I should ought to tell you, I had to leave a parcel of my goods out in the woods since the horses was flagging. I can go back for it once the sky clears a bit, but all my money's in there. How much? Shh! 
I could see well enough this feller's good for the cost of a room and some grub, even if the snow carries on a wee bit longer. Gary, what's going on with him? Hish now, Randall. Woman, you go and look in on uh, your other ailing brother. I'll serve this gentleman myself. Well, sir, we got some fine stew here. A load of turnips and uh, bread and butter for you. Lem, there is something very much not right here. Reckon I'll take whatever you got to spare. I know you won't be able to reply to anything I say, but... You talk in. I, uh... I feel tomorrow, once it clears, my brother-in-law here and I'd be quite happy to help you go and find your uh, property. How far were you out when you had to unburden what property? yourself? A couple of hours back, so might have could have been a few miles, depending on how much headway we made. I can find it again, though I doubt me anyone else could. I hid it real ah. good. <laughs> I see you don't need me to tell you these fellows are up to no good. And carrying weapons. No Quakers these. What's wrong with your friend in the back? None of your goddamn bitch. Randall! Not in front of the children. Uh, he slid on some ice and broke his leg. Real, real tight. Honey, I took a look back there and I never saw a broken leg that required a bloody bandage to the chest before. Hmm, that's a real bad one. I know how frustrating it can be to smell food and not be able to have any, believe me, boy. What is it that you do, stranger? Uh, well, see, I'm a... Courier? A courier. Carrying important packages for... What is it? You can't... Gold mining concerns. Gold mining? I swear that man's eyes just lit up like the footlights of the Tivoli. Damn. Lim, the dog's not going to let up until I see what he wants to show me. I shall return shortly. Bet them kids are a good lot of help running a hostel and all. Not so much as you'd be thinking. I'm only their stepdaddy, you see. So they ain't not taken to me a mite yet. Ah, that's a hard road to hope. I finally managed to stop the bleeding. Bleeding? That's a bad break and no mistake. I, I it is. Well, that's good then. Sit and eat, dear. I need to get the children to bed. No way, you ain't. Shish! Uh, don't you have no hospitality in your woman? Them kids can see to themselves whilst you stay here and keep us all company. Come here, y'all. A kiss goodnight, then you run along. Mama. You look after the little ones, Faith. You have to hope, sweetie. Oh, get on with it. I like this every damn night. <laughs> He's just uh, arrived for a visit. These cowhands, uh, they're not used to family living. I'm pretty much the same. Don't you forget your prayers just because we have guests in the house, Fortitude. Well, I gotta take myself outside for a bit. Y'all be all right without me? You have houses. This kind of weather, I ain't troubling to go that far. Have courage, courage. Names these children have. Nothing wrong with good sound virtues. Now, courage, you take Pius by the hand, and all y'all run along to bed. Hope, take baby humility. All right, Mama. Baby can stay. <gasps> They're too young to be looking after him. Besides, he's so sleepy. You, you all go on up now. I'll be listening for your prayers. I. I love y'all. Bloody dog. If you weren't such a good, solid, dark color, I would have lost you long ago. So, what is it, boy? Hmm? Oh. My word. Well, ma'am, I must say that's the best meal I've eaten in quite some time. Plain fair. We weren't expecting no one. Plain fair is the best. Hits the spot. Randall's been gone a bloody long time. Uh, where could uh, he have got himself off to? You want I should go and check? No. Uh, I mean, no, dear. Why don't you come over and sit by me? 
if Randall can find his own way back from the privy, well, uh, maybe he deserves to have it freeze and snap off. I can go and look. I should cast an eye over my horses, make sure they're warming up. Uh, uh, certainly, certainly. Oh, that sounds just fine. Be right back. Ma'am? Then something terrible is happening here. You must come see. Grand along back here in the middle of your find him, eh, stranger? Of course. No chance of sneaking up on that coyote while he's rifling my saddlebags now, is there? Oh, yes, I forgot to mention. That's not what you wanted me to come out here He didn't find your guns, but he's still in the barn. Come along, this way. (laughs) Colder than a witch's... Where the hell are you? That stranger went a-looking for you. Did you spy him? (laughs) Nope. Maybe you got lost. Well, that won't get us his goods, now will it? Make a search for Parrot Kingdom come and we'll never find the damn Keep stuff. your shirt on. At least for now, eh, hey, wifey? And you told that fella I was her brother just so you'd get a leg up. You should go and find that fella. We oh, can't let him be wandering around thinking there's anything amiss. Oh, and uh, was there anything interesting in his saddlebags? Not much. Mostly what you'd expect. And what wouldn't you be expecting? Well, there was this metal jar. Might be worth a few bucks. But uh, it wouldn't open, and it was right heavy. Figuring if we decided it's worth it, we could take it later with the rest of this kit. Just a bit further. <laughs> like I haven't heard that before. Watch where you step. Blood? Well, snow doesn't usually come in that color. It's fresh. No more than a couple hours old. The, uh, source is just ahead of you. Hmm? Ah, hell. Who's he? I suspect we have here this poor fellow's master. Yep, the man is killed outright. Shot through the head like that, don't leave you moving much. But the, the blood trail? That's your amigo there. Looks like even gut shot he was trying to go and get help. Did he freeze? I hope so. I hear it hurts some less. But froze or bled out, he probably passed right about when we first heard him. Poor fellow. I swear and he's the first animal spirit I've ever come upon. Master around anywhere? Now take a look. Damn. See if you can pick up anything. I'll circle round so they can't see I was out this way. Righty ho. Be careful then. Like a cow hand in his best boots. I should check on the children. They're fine. Why don't you give me a big kiss, little lady? While we have a chance to be on our lonesome. I will not. (laughs) Won't kiss me? (laughs) You'll do more than that before we hit the trail again. And having all them children? I bet you know just what I mean. I am a righteous woman. You can't... (laughs) Righteous or not, the parts all work the same. No... No, no, no. I... Nah, nah, don't go away. Come here. What the blazes are you up to, Randall? We agreed we were You gonna... agreed. I ain't had much choice. If a not fella walks in and spies you doing this... I say we time both of them. Take what we want and forget all this fall or all. Have you seen the feller's manner? He ain't the kind of man to give in, even tied up and beat. Oh, he gotta pull the wool over his eyes for certain. Shush. Let me help you with your coat. We thought you might have got lost. Be careful. Nah, just took the long road back by way of the convenience. Seemed logical since I was already out in it. I know. You. Hold on, let me shake the snow out the door. Won't put you or your brood in danger if I can help. I do believe he's trying to make time with your wife, Don. Ah, shut up, you pillock. Oh, oh, can we be getting mm. anything else, oh, stranger? Oh, boy, do I feel a heap better. How about some grub? Damn. A 
Hello? Are you here? Hmm. Hey, boy. Find your master. Can you do that? Good boy. What's a going on? I expect we ought to get you up to your room for the night, eh, stranger? Randall! Damn it! Pardon me, but we can't really go on calling you stranger, can we? You're our guest now. Lemuel Roberts. The dead eye kid! Who? Dead eye kid. Ain't that just. Stand up and show me your hands. You ain't never heard of that dead eye kid. He an outlaw? He's a gunslinger. He's just one of the meanest hombres out there. Killed over 30 men, they say. All showdown. <laughs> I look like that kind of feller? A bit. Round the eyes. Funny. He didn't actually say he weren't the kid. Ask him again. Well, at least you ain't strapped now. Oh, that's fine. Randall, you got a jug on you. What the devil's wrong with y'all? Why won't you ask him? Here's hoping the snow runs away as fast as the Red Coats Regiment. Sounds good. In here? Aha! Uh -huh. Sir? Who the hell are you? Another one of my wife's men. What? The way she's carrying on out there. Them fellas are just about having her way with her. Them fellas killed you, sir. And your good lady is in there trying to keep them from doing the same to your children. Of course you'd say that. Fancy pants like you, she'd be kissing your feet. I am going to ask you one time, sir. Do you have a weapon here somewhere that might help us? Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Take a man's old shotgun, poke his wife, and dance on his grave, huh? Well, Bessie's well hidden. You won't never find her. But the bitch and her bastard whelps die. <clears throat> hey! So sorry. Usually I would warn a gentleman before striking him. You bastard. <clears throat> Since you are not a gentleman... <clears throat> Ma'am. Um, uh. Oh, madam, I wish I could reassure you. Lemuel is very good at what he does. If there weren't the two of them, he'd have sorted this out long ago. Don't cry. If there's anything I could do, anything within my power, I... Yeah. Of course there is not. Or is there? Hey! It's been hey! a few weeks in California. Don! Nothing Randall! much there, so... Ah! What's going on? What's... what is... bloody hell? This ain't funny! Randall! Oh, calm down! Ugh. Ow! Come with me now! Who in blazes are you? I'm... the Angel Gabriel! Who the devil are you? Gabriel? I ain't... Oh, Lord. Am I dead? Shouldn't angels not be taking the devil's name in vain? Who do you think we should swear by? Our Lord? You got yourself a point. Sorry. What do I do now? Firstly, you be quiet and let people think. Now get back in that room and say your prayers. <sighs> it's some fine stuff, ain't Let's it? just say I have a special fondness for spirits. I'll be drinking to that. You reckon I should uh, look in on Garrett? Let the lady do that. It's her job. Making sure he stays alive, right? Yes. What's wrong with you, dearest? It has been a trying day. Women, hey, you get on now. Make sure Gareth's comfortable. I expect you've noticed Garrett's dead. I have him calmed down, but that may not last. Do you think she'll know what to do? She ain't screamed yet. What's that? Your friend must be doing all right, or your wife would have called for help. My sister, his wife. Sorry, it's late. There's a shotgun somewhere in the house. If I find it, can you let that poor woman know? Her husband is... Well, he... I had to lay him out, I believe is how you say Worst it. thing about late nights is the rambling on some folks do. What's that? Just thinking you're good company, you two, since you understand the value of silence. Very well. I shall go and look for the shotgun.
some Quakers, alcohol and guns, but not even trying. All right, boy, show me where the gun is. He's my damn dog. No way he's going to betray me. What's his name, then? Valor. Like it matters since he won't answer you. Valor. Hmm. Here, boy. Here, Valor. Don't listen to him, you damn mutt. Get over here. I'll whoop you good and you know I will. That little fella looks confused. Valor, help me help your mistress, boy. Good boy. Yes, you are a good boy, aren't you? Can't you be keeping that thing quiet? It's noisy in here. He can't sleep. If you need to absent yourself, ma'am, I'm sure we men folk can do without you. You don't know no such thing. Woman, sit. Lem, your glass. Tap it once for yes, twice for no. Understand? Valor, the dog, showed me where the master of the house kept his shotgun. It's behind some turnip sacks on a shelf in the cellar. Do you think you can get at it somehow? Ma'am? What? Yes, Mr. Roberts? Do you have some more of this fine whiskey? Of course not. Pies, mealy mouth. We had to bring our own, of course. Come now, ma'am. I bet you have something a bit more powerful, say, down in the root cellar. My mama always used to hide hers behind some turnip sacks on a shelf. How do you know I have a cellar? Let's just say the spirits are calling to me. <laughs> you don't know how true that just may be. Shut it. I don't think we're needing anything further to drink. Ah, well, you're probably wise there. One more drink and I'll be toes up next to that fire snoring my life away. Really? Say what you can find, one. I'm swearing I'm gonna smother that critter. That's no way to be speaking to your nephew, Randall. He's real close to toes up his self, stranger. I reckon. Hmm. One other hazard of liquor. I think I got to find my way outside again. Oh, nonsense. Much too cold now. When you gotta, you... Man said no, stranger. All right. Gabriel, I've been saying every prayer I know, and I'm plumb bored. Ain't no heavenly choir coming for me yet. I shall check on that. Wait in that room for me. Damn it, you told the audit where my gun is. Now, who the hell are you? Mr. Innkeeper, this is one of the bastards who shot you and your dog. What? You done that? Well, that ain't very angelic, Gabriel. Besides, it was Don what actually shot him. I got a feeling I can't wail a tar out of him, though. Garrett, perhaps I'm the devil and damning you to be tormented by those you wronged. How do you like them, Alice? <laughs> said she was going to the cellar. I'll check. She'll probably be just another minute. I can't wait another. <laughs> oh, devil, take it. Tip the table, Lim. Thank you. I did think of that myself. Check the kitchen. What's your doing? My fault. I guess I leaned on it too hard. the table nearly took my head off. Leastways, I caught the baby. Why don't she get up real soon? Damn. She has the gun, Lim, but I don't know if she'll use it. I don't want to hear that. Who are you talking to? Are you that drunk? Look, you kill me, then what happens? Think about it. You got one man wounded and another drowned in corn liquor. Which one you plan to carry when you make a run for it? Who says we're going anywhere? We dump your story hide outside and stay here. Snug as a bug till the snow lets up. Or till you hurt one of this woman's young'uns. Ah, oh, spare me. She ain't never going to do nothing. Pear kind don't believe in violence. I could butcher each one of the wee vermin and serve them to her in a stew. And she'd have to sit there and take it. For God. Stranger! Huh? You blasted bitch! <laughs> now you get it! Uh, uh. Oh. Was there? No. What? That man is no threat. Get his guns and I'll tie him up. But he... he threatened you. And your young. I will not have any more killing in my home. She has a great deal of conviction. Ma'am, let me do this for you, then. Let me take the body... Bodies, if I'm right about the man in the back room, outside. I'll put them in the shed, along with your husband. He is dead. 
I saw his body and the dog. That's what put me on my guard. Give me my baby and I'll leave you to your work. Stay to the left side of the road. It's a bit higher and not so icy. Thank you, ma'am. I hope things get better for you. Please, don't think that I do not appreciate your help. Oh, I can't abide violence, sir. I thank you kindly for saving my children. Not to worry, ma'am. As a man who lived by the gun, I'm... Well, I'm trying. We will pray for you. Uh -huh. Oh, well, mister. I say, Lemuel, how does a pious woman like that end up married to a beast like... Well, you must have heard him. Heard enough. Out here, most times it's better to have some man in the house than no man, no matter what a cuss he is. Have you ever considered settling down? A hostel like that would be quite a nice little retirement. I would just plumb can't see myself putting down roots. You? Hmm? I haven't any roots to put down. If you did? Well, at one point I fancied an academic seat of some sort. Teaching, you know. If I did what? Pity. I rather hoped he would remain unconscious until we reached the sheriff. If wishes were horses. <laughs> that coyote would be riding upright instead of prone on a pack horse. <laughs> Something like that. Now that you know how to find us, don't be a stranger. We have enough of those already. Tonight's episode, Hostile Territory, was written by Julie Hoverson. In it, Lemuel Roberts, the dead-eyed kid, was played by J. Spider Isaacson. Clarence Fanshawe was J. Hoverson. The woman, Burden Fayette, was Beverly Poole. The dead husband, Will Fayette, was... Glenn Hallstrom. The Outlaws, Don Phelps was Renaud LaBeouf, Randall was J.D. Lloyd, and Garrett was Sean Connor. The children were portrayed by Al Asiochi, Crystal Baker, Molly Tollefson, Julie Hoverson, and Renaud LaBeouf. Music for this episode was by Kevin McLeod of Incompetech.com. Sound effects were found on SoundSnap.com and Sonomic.com. Sound and mastering was done by Julie Hoverson. The opening theme was by Kevin McLeod at Incompetech.com. The opening credits featured Cole Hornaday, Renaud LaBeouf, and Julie Hoverson. All persons, places, and events in this story were fictitious or used in a fictitious manner and are not meant to reflect any persons, places, or things, living, dead, or undead. Questions? Comments? We would love to hear from you. Contact us at 19nocturne at live.com. That's 19nocturne. Or check out our website at www.19nocturneboulevard.com. Or join us in the 19 Nocturne Boulevard Forum over at audiodramatalk.com. We also have a WordPress site, 19nocturne.wordpress.com, that's spelled out 19. And we have a MySpace page, which is www.myspace.com slash 19nocturneboulevard. That's one nine. This presentation is copyright 2009 to Julie Hoverson and Weality Productions. <laughs>